let's get real. Networking is dead. If you want support to build your reach and expand your impact, you've got to put in the energy to cultivate real relationships. In this episode, I share personal stories that went will unveil how my relationships have helped me 10x my impact. Tune in and learn why networking is dead, why influencers with more followers aren't always the best people to support you, and tips to help you cultivate win-win relationships. Now, if you're a leader and you're ready to impact millions with your message, I invite you to join me and Selena Sue on Wednesday, February the 26th for a very special behind the scenes workshop that will help you create win-win relationships to 10x your vis visibility and gain publicity. But you've got to register. And yes, it's free. So no excuses. Head to rubyframon.com forward slash Ruby Selena. That's R-U-B-Y-S-E-L-E-N-A, and that link and more will be in the show notes. Now, if you have a question about this episode or you want to text me your number one takeaway, text me at 1-781-336-0160, and just remember to mention the episode number. That phone number is in the show notes. Now, if you dig this podcast and you want to receive weekly leadership advice and inspiration, be sure to join my email community, rubyfremont.com forward slash subscribe. And then finally, whether you are a loyal thought leader or a brand new listener, please take a moment to download a few episodes on iTunes and drop a rating and review. Please help me make the charts. It would be amazing. Now, it is time to 10x your impact with win-win relationships. Hey, thought leaders, and welcome to another episode of today's Thought Leader. Um, so today's episode is a follow-up to episode number 163 where I talked about putting you and your mission in the spotlight. If you haven't heard that episode yet, hit stop now and go jump to episode 163 because in that episode, I share how I got published in over 30 different platforms and went viral within my first two years of business. And I also talk about how I've been featured on 35 plus podcasts in the span of two years. So go listen to that first before we dive into 10xing your impact with win-win relationships. Now, if you've already listened to 163, you are in for a treat. Um, so I realized after recording that episode that there's a lot more to this story. There's a lot more that goes behind the scenes of building a successful brand and movement, of gaining the publicity um, that I've gained, the connections that I've gained. Um, and that's really through relationships. Now, the other week I posted about um, Lone Wolf and uh, how I used to think that I was a lone wolf. But really, um, and I say this with love to all my fellow lone wolfers. Lone wolfers? Is that a thing? Lone wolves. That's a thing. Um, we claim the status of lone wolf because we're actually scared, right? We, we're scared of getting close to people because maybe in the past we've been burned. We're scared of opening up to people because maybe in the past we've felt um, disrespected by them. We, we're scared to open up to people um, because maybe in the past uh, people haven't supported us in the way in which we needed them to. Um, and my message to you today is, is that uh, you're not a lone wolf. You're just fucking scared. Um, and that was the case for me. You know, I was scared. And over the past few years, I've really been working a lot on um, myself in terms of these walls that I have built and these protection mechanisms that I have built. Um, but also in, in learning how to decipher between who I want in my inner circle and who I don't need to have in my inner circle. So when I first started out as a coach uh, back in at the end of 2014, 
I was blessed to go to a lot of events. I met a lot of people. And um, at the beginning of 2016, I had my first speaking gig. And um, it was a speaking gig that I actually acquired. This is cool. I acquired it through LinkedIn. Someone had uh, loved my posts on LinkedIn and saw that I was connected to um, some of the other speakers he had already hired. And so he peaked at my work because of that, uh, because of the connections that he saw um, and reached out and asked me to speak at this event, my very, very first speaker event. Um, so I gained that through LinkedIn, but really through um, the organizer of the event, seeing who I was connected with. Okay. So again, this episode's about relationships. So keep listening. Uh, so at that event, um, I connected with a lot of um, these people that I was internet friends with. And a lot of them were, you know, shiny, big, famous influencers and, and, and people who were doing a lot more than, than me. I was kind of like peanuts compared to everyone else at this event. And I got to share the stage with them. And I remember being like, okay, well, you know, we, we, we need to surround ourselves with people who inspire us, who motivate us, um, who uh, we want to be like. And so I wanted to surround myself with these people. Now, today, um, out of all those people who were speaking at that event, I am very close with one person. Uh, and I'm intentionally sharing this with you. Um, so I, I was friends with everyone. There was about seven speakers there. And throughout the past few years, I've really learned to decipher who's really my friend and who's not, who's really there for me and, and I can be, and lets me be there for them and, and who's not, um, meaning that they're only there when they need you. They're only there when they need something. They're not really truly supporting you. They don't give a shit about you, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I, I share that because I want you to be aware of super shiny people. Um, because when I talk about relationships in this episode, it's it's not um, win-win relationships isn't about connecting with people who are super shiny and famous and can get you things. No, this is about cultivating an actual relationship with people where you truly see each other, where you truly feel connected, where you truly fucking support each other. That's what this is about. And I think the personal development industry is filled with a lot of bullshit about who you surround yourself with. You are the, you know, um, you are just like the five people that you surround yourself with. And so people are in a race to connect with, you know, uh, influencers, <laughs> people with lots of followers, people who seem to be doing a lot of shit. And what you see on the outside isn't always an accurate description of what's going on behind the scenes. I remember going to, I may have shared this story on the podcast at some point in time, but I'm going to share it again. I remember going to a housewarming for a couple of these said famous influencers and I get there and I literally had like five people come up to me, introduce themselves. And the first thing they did was ask me for my Instagram handle, which I thought was kind of weird. Um, it's like, hi, how's it going? I'm so-and-so what's your Instagram handle? And like legit, that's how they were introducing themselves. And of these five people, like one is he went and looked at my Instagram and he literally walked away. Um, this is back when maybe I had like 5,000 followers. The second one kind of like closed off the, the second and third one kind of closed off the conversation really quick after that. And the fourth and fifth one stayed to talk to me, but I thought it was really, really weird that this is how people are now introducing themselves because this shows that people are really adopting a what's in it for me mentality. And that's fucked up. Okay. If you're listening to this podcast, you are a leader, you know, this and you're heart centered and you're purpose driven. So be wary of the ways in which you are showing up in a what's in it for me with a what's in it for me attitude. Okay, be cautious of that because that shit is rampant in our industry. A lot of people have adopted this mindset of like, what's in it for me? And they solely create relationships or connections with people from that place. And they don't actually support each other. And I get really fired up about this topic because like, 
first of all, I first moved to LA in 2013. I started my coaching business in 2014. And so there was a lot of new for me, you know, moving from Canada where I was born and raised, moving into this new city that's fucking huge um, with a lot of fake personalities and personas going into a, uh, the personal development industry, which quite frankly is also really fucking huge and full of a lot of fake fucking personas. And so over the past few years, I've done a lot of inner work to decipher um, who I really want to become close with, as well as um, really work through my fears of letting people in. So that doesn't mean that I have like this large network. I really don't. I know a lot of people. Actually, that's a lie. I know a lot of people. I have a large network of people. But when it comes to these win-win relationships, which are really ultimately my friendships, I don't have a large amount of, of these. And it's really because these types of relationships require time and space and energy. It's, it's reciprocal. It's being there for each other no matter what. You know, I've talked about leadership uh, in terms of self-conscious and conscious leadership and self-conscious leadership or unconscious leadership or leading from your, you know, from your ego. That's the what's in it for me mentality. But conscious leadership, such as the leaders that are in my thought leader collective, who I fucking love, um, we're in it to rise together. You know, leaders who rise together, rise higher. You know, it's why I made the hashtag for Thought Leader Collective, uh, leaders rising together. And we don't actually see this. Like I have, I can't tell you how many times I've been told um, by people in this industry that, you know, yeah, anytime you need anything, just hit me up. Like I'm here to support you after they get something that they need from me. And when I lean on them for support, they're not there. So I get it. I get this whole lone wolf um, persona that we put on because I wore it for a long time. But what you have to get really good at is trusting yourself, trusting yourself to connect with the right people and trusting yourself enough to just let your fucking guard down um, and trusting yourself enough to make the right connections, to cultivate the right relationships. Don't just go after the shiny people. Okay. Because Often those shiny people aren't really going to be there for you. Go after the people with heart. Go after the people who share the same fucking values as you. Go after cultivating relationships with leaders who have similar visions, who um, see the world as you do, who really are in it to rise together. Okay. Um, so I want to share a few stories about this um, because as I think it's important just to paint the picture. Um, so that first speaking event that I mentioned that I um, got off of LinkedIn from the guy seeing actually who I was connected with, um, that's where I met Joel Brown. And Joel Brown's been on this podcast. I'm going to have him again later this year. So stay tuned for that. Uh, Joel Brown is literally one of my favorite, favorite people. and within like the top five leaders that I feel are truly, truly leading in an authentic way. Um, if you're not following him, go follow him at I am Joel Brown. He's incredible. Now, Joel and I first connected at that Epic Mastermind talk um, in San Diego in 2016. And since then, we have cultivated a real friendship, like a real relationship. We've been there for each other through, um, uh, for uh, personally, you know, just to support each other personally in our personal lives. Um, we've been there for each other to brainstorm and bounce ideas off of each other on calls, which is always fun. Um, and Joel had me on his Addicted to Success podcast in 2016 when I was still a new newbie coach. And I shit you not, my podcast was sandwiched between Gary V and Gabby Bernstein. 
and um a few episodes down was Deepak Chopra. Like, holy shit, right? He also um, had me speak at his three-day Elevate, Elevate event in Bali last year, 2018. You've heard me talk about that, where I met my mentor, one of my mentors, Gerard Adams, who's now also a really great friend. Um, and from that friendship, we're co-creating a lot of stuff that will be coming out in the future. And it's because I'm taking the time to really cultivate these friendships and relationships, um, but not based on the, the shininess of these people, based on what they value and, and how we value very similar things. Um, another connection who, uh, whom I love is Kimra Luna. Kimra and I have been connected on social media for, for years, like since we both started, but we had never actually spoken to each other. And last year, 2018, I think it was like January, 2018, I get a DM from her and she's like, Hey, what's up? Um, are you hosting a mastermind this year? Cause I'm looking for a life coach to co-host one. And we hopped on a call and we connected and we loved each other and we went forward with hosting a six figure mastermind together, which was amazing. And since then, Kimra has connected me with countless other leaders um, who have featured me on their podcast for interviews. Um, it, it's a, and it's a relationship where we support each other again. Like we support each other personally, we support each other and bounce ideas off of each other. I'm there for her, she's there for me. Um, it, it, it's a beautiful win-win relationship. Uh, another example I want to give you is Selena Sue. Now, Selena Sue, I, I like to call her the queen of publicity. I don't, that's not actually her tagline, but she legit is the queen of publicity. And Selena is someone that I've been following since I first started. I've always, always loved her work. Um, I think the work that she does is super important in the world, helping people like us gain publicity for the work that we're doing, but she does it in such an authentic way. So I've always loved her. Um, followed all her shit. And one of my videos, I can't remember which one it was. I think it was the, do you have the courage to speak your truth? Um, if you haven't seen my videos, they're on IGTV, go look now or go to youtube.com forward slash I am Ruby to check out my videos. Um, but I think it was the, how, how do, do you have the courage to speak your truth? And she commented on it and it was a really like, loving, thoughtful comment. Like she watched the video and loved it and was praising me for this and was saying that this is such an important message. And so there I was looking at my IG, kind of having a fangirl moment, to be honest, because I was just like, oh my God, this is someone that I really deeply admire and respect. And she just commented on my shit. So let me thank her. So I sent her a DM. Okay. Take note, people. This is a tip to help you cultivate win-win relationships. If someone you admire and respect or someone that you'd like to get to know comments on your shit, slide into their DMs and thank them for it. So I sent her a DM saying, thank you so much, Selena, for commenting on my latest video, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, I would love to talk about like the possibility of having you speak in as a guest expert in my Thought Leader Collective and then that turned into like, hey, Ruby, how about we hop on a call and connect? Um, would love to get to know you. Um, so we hopped on a call and we connected and we realized we have so much in common. And now I am so blessed to call Selena a dear, dear friend. Um, and we're, we recorded a podcast episode together here for today's Thought Leader. So stay tuned for that. That is coming up in just a few weeks. Um, Actually, that's coming up in like a week, two weeks, two weeks. So stay tuned for that. We recorded a workshop, a very, very special behind the scenes workshop, which I will be inviting you to today, um, where we share all of our biggest tips on um, really expanding your reach and, and how to gain more leverage to impact millions through win-win relationships. So that workshop is coming up. Okay. If you want to sign up for that workshop, go to rubyframon.com forward slash Ruby Selena. The link will be in the show notes, but that is coming up. That's coming up on Wednesday, February the 26th. 
but you got to register. It's free. You want to be there. So anyways, Selena and I, we're continuing to collaborate and connect. And, and again, like on a personal level and also for business, um, so that we can support each other and rise together. I share these stories again, intentionally, because I want you to see that these are relationships. These are not, you know, connections. These are not numbers in your Rolodex, right? They are not just Facebook friends or LinkedIn connections. These are relationships that I am putting energy into cultivating. And that is how we 10X our impact, right? Joel, Kimra, Selena, um, you know, Gerard, like all of these people share my shit. You know, they've, they've, they've actually all shared my stuff. You know, Kimra shared my programs multiple times to her tens and thousands of uh, subscri subscribers in her email list and in her Facebook group. Joel has offered me testimonials for my work, which is fucking incredible. And also um, a testimonial for my upcoming book. Stay tuned for that. Um, Gerard Adams has shared my shit. Um, and Selena and I, again, like we're continuing to, to work together and share each other's stuff. And she shared my videos with her online community. So these are win-win relationships because every person in the relationship, the both, both people are in it to rise together. Okay. This isn't a, this what's in it for me situation. This is a let's collaborate and connect so that we can rise together. That's what this is about. You know, um, the days of, of quote unquote networking are gone. You know, the, those, I, I, it, I honestly believe that networking events just need to fucking go extinct because they are, I never go to them and business cards. Well, those are kind of extinct already. The way to really cultivate win-win relationships is to connect with people on a heart centered in a heart centered way to connect with these like minds, to cultivate real friendships, real relationships, and to nurture those relationships, to support them fully and receive the support they offer you. And if there are people where you get into a relationship and you start to understand that, oh, this person's actually not really in it for me. Cool. Like let that shit go. Don't hang on to them just because they're shiny, just because they have more followers than you. Don't do that shit. Don't, don't, hold on to relationships that don't feel aligned. Win-win relationships always feel aligned. You'll always share the same values with that person and you'll always be there for each other in, in more ways than one, more ways than just business. So if you really, really want to 10X your impact with win-win relationships, you have to understand that these relationships are not just numbers in your phone or emails in your email list or your contact list. These are real people that you put in the effort, the energy to get to know, to support, um, to, to really understand their vision, their mission, and vice versa. Okay. So with that being said, ha, 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 I have something special coming up and I'm inviting you to it. Um, so Selena, Sue, and I, like I said before, we created this really, really awesome behind the scenes workshop. It, it's really like if you were a fly in the wall in a conversation between me and Selena, where we talk about, um, our relationships and how we've 10 X our visibility and gained publicity and received opportunities for exposure just from relationships alone. It's that, which is why we're calling it behind the scenes. Because it's a behind the scenes look on how we have gained that publicity for ourselves, for our movements, and also received tons of opportunities for exposure so that we can impact millions just by creating these win win relationships. So, if you want to join Selena and I for the behind the scenes, how to create win win relationships for greater visibility, which goes live on Wednesday, February the 26th. 2020 at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, then head to rubyframon.com forward slash Ruby 
Selena. That's R U B Y S E L E N A. And those, that link and more will be in the show notes. So make sure you join Selena and I, because I promise you, you're going to walk away with real, like actual tangible tips on how you can create win-win relationships to help you 10X your visibility, gain publicity, and receive big opportunities for exposure that will help you impact millions with your message and your movement. rubyfremont.com forward slash Ruby Selena. Whew. So that's it. That's all for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Today's Thought Leader, where I'm challenging you to rise up, speak up, and create a movement. Now, if you haven't done so already, please be sure to download a few episodes and drop a reading and review on iTunes. I would absolutely love to hit the charts. I've been there before. I'd love to get there again, but I need your help in making that happen. And the way that works is not just with ratings and reviews, but actual downloads. So make sure you go back and download a few episodes. I say three, download three episodes and drop a real rating and a real review on iTunes. Now, if you have a question about this episode or you want to share your number one takeaway, I love hearing takeaways, then text me. Yes, text message. My number is 1-781-336-0163. And just remember to mention the episode number when you text me so I know what you're talking about. Okay, that number and the links and so much more will be in the show notes. And finally, make sure you're connected with me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, all the things. My handle is the same everywhere. It's at I am Ruby. Now make sure you check back on Monday for a fresh new episode of Today's Thought Leader where Destin Garrick and I get super fucking real about the risks that come with vulnerable leadership. It's a really good episode and I'm so excited for you to listen in. So check back on Monday. And again, thank you so much for being here, Thought Leaders, and I will catch you online.